and uh, Beatrice Carton from Ndola Teaching Hospital and Infection Prevention Lead Nurse. My role is to ensure that uh, infections are prevented in the hospital by ensuring that all measures are implemented. Infection prevention is basically the activities that in the transmission of microorganisms also to control. If there's an outbreak of an infection, then you, you implement some, act, some measures that will help you to control the spread of infections. It is important because it, um, it prevents nosocomial infections or healthcare associated infections. So technically what you are telling us that infection prevention is a multidisciplinary um, program, isn't it? Yes. How have you been able to coordinate uh, within different disciplines? Okay. We have two committees okay. as an institution. We have one committee for focal point person where we draw the members from each department. Okay. Then we have um, heads of departments. We have um, an infection prevention tool um, where we check for waste management. We look at the type of uh, inliners, if they are put in, in the correct place okay. and in the correct bin. Okay. Then we also it also has um, the hand hygiene where when we go in a clinical area we observe whether the members of staff or healthcare workers are practicing good hand hygiene. Okay. Then also we pick one member of staff to demonstrate the hand hygiene techniques. Yes. Okay. In terms of? In terms of hand hygiene, then also availability of um, hand washing, yeah. soap, also the alcohol hand wrap. Okay. Not much. Okay. Mm, not much challenges. Okay. Though when uh, people are aware that uh, the infection prevention team are coming to audit us, they ensure that everything is put in place. Okay. But mm, most of the time, when we are uh, when we are conducting that audit round, we don't really inform the. The, the department, okay. but we inform the heads of department. But when the head of department leaks it, okay. they inform their their subordinates. Okay, uh, financial support. Okay. Uh, we have an allocation in our hospital budget, just been factored in, so okay. we receive a certain amount of money to procure the IPC. Uh, commodities and other logistics. Okay. Then uh, we also, when we want to implement something, we involve also management to help us to implement whatever we want to implement. Okay. Also okay. on trainings, they also support us. Okay. On training of members of staff. Okay. No, well, thank you very much. I think that's where we end this interview. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much.